Okay children, let us discuss the topic back cross and test cross in the chapter Principles of Inheritance and Variation. The topic is back cross and test cross. Test cross is in your syllabus and back cross is not there. So what is a test cross? That is a, the crossing of an F1 hybrid with its recessive parent. Crossing of an F1 hybrid with its recessive parent. Rewind all the uh, details we studied in a monohybrid cross. A mono, what is a, in the last class we studied about monohybrid cross. A. What is monohybrid cross? A? The cross a, in which a, a single character is a, considered a, and a, uh, the uh, character Mendel uh, considered was a, uh, experimented was a height of a pi sum set item. Height a, has two traits a, uh, which traits are, uh, are those? A? One is a tall and another one is a dwarf and a tallness is represented by the letter capital T and a dwarfness is a represented by the letter small t. Remember always um, we use uh, the first letter of a dominant character that is a tall, tall, tall is the dominant character so we use the uh, letter T to represent a dominant character capital T to represent a, the dominant character and to represent the uh, its recessive character we use a which one a small letter of a, that uh, letter small letter of a, the letter we use to uh, demonstrate or uh, we used to de denote the uh, dominant character okay now you know about phenotype and genotype. Phenotype is the physical appearance and genotype is the genetic constitution. And here in your textbook, the test cross is conducted in an example given as of a flower. We know that two types of flowers are produced by pea plant, violet and white, Pur purple and white flower and Violet is a dominant over white. Violet uh, color is dominant over the color white. So, I use the letter V, not W. In your textbook, W is given, but I use the letter V, to rep capital V to represent violet and a small V to represent white. Okay, capital V, violet, why? Because it is dominant and a small V to represent a white color. Now, what is done here? Recessive trait the uh, plant with the recessive flower the, what is the recessive flower here white that means uh, the plant bearing white flower is crossed with the, the plant bearing violet flower plant bearing white color is uh, crossed with the plant bearing violet color now what what we have to find out whether the violet flower is a uh, homozygous or a heterozygous now suppose we are assuming that uh, the flower, the plant having violet color is homozygous. Homozygous. Homozygous condition. What is a homozygous condition? Having both the capital V and capital V. Okay. Capital V and the capital V is crossed with the, the small V, small V. White, small V, small V. Then, uh, which are the gametes formed here? Gametes formed will be having... Uh, what uh, one is a uh, two are uh, small v small v and one uh, capital v and uh, one is a uh, small uh, sorry both are uh, uh, capital v capital v from uh, uh, the uh, violet uh, flower and uh, both uh, small v from uh, white flower okay uh, the gametes uh, formed from a uh, uh, white flower will be carrying uh, uh, a small v and uh, the gametes uh, produced from a uh, violet color will be having capital V. The allele capital V. Now, if we cross, uh, then what type of individuals or plants will be produced? Uh, all plants will be having capital V and small v. See here, four plants are produced. Uh, here, all will be having what? Uh, capital V, small v, capital V, small v, capital V, small v, capital V and small v. That means all the plants produced will be bearing what type of flowers? Violet flowers. Violet flowers. And what type of violet? Heterozygous violet. And what is the condition here? Uh, the parent or the plant we chose uh, was uh, what? Uh, 
uh, homozygous if uh, it, uh, it uh, takes place only if uh, the unknown plant we chose to experiment is a homozygous in nature homozygous okay now if the condition is heterozygous let us see what happens if the uh, violet flower the plant bearing violet flower is heterozygous heterozygous means capital V and small v okay now capital V small v and crossed with the white flower and white flower having small v small v game it's small v small v and the heterozygous violet flowers will produce the two types of gametes one with the capital V and another with the small v now if we if they combine what type of flowers will be produced see here four flowers one uh, uh, capital V combines with the one V producing capital V small v and the same uh, capital V combines with the another uh, uh, small v forming another flower bearing capital V small v and uh, the small v of uh, the small v gamete of uh, the violet flower combines with the, the small v gametes of uh, white, uh, white flower producing uh, two uh, white flowers bearing small v small v small v small v okay four flowers out of these two are violet and two are the white in nature clear now two uh, violet two white that means 50 percent violet and 50 percent uh, white clear what is the condition one then what may be the flower we chose uh, the flower may be heterozygous violet so in the case of a homozygous violet uh, crossed with the white flower all the plants produced are what violet in color but in the case of a heterozygous violet crossed with the white 50 percent are violet and 50 percent are white in nature that means two out of four two violet and two white that is two is to one and if we reduce it then we get one is to one one percent what uh, half the percent or 50 percent violet and 50 percent white and this ratio one is to one is known as a test cross ratio test cross ratio okay then what is monohybrid phenotypic ratio 3 is to 1 and then what is a uh, monohybrid genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 okay now what is the significance of this what is the significance of a test cross it is a to know about the alleles okay what type of alleles are present in the unknown plant and so that it can be used in agriculture and by using here we can know that if only one type of allele is found then we get only one type of plant and if both the alleles are present, we can get varieties of plants. Okay. If only one type of allele is present, we can get only one type of plant. And if we, uh, if the unknown plant has two types of alleles, we can get varieties, two varieties of plants. Okay. That is the significance of a test cross. Now, another uh, uh, test is a back crossing. Now, what is back crossing? Crossing the hybrid with the uh, any one of the parent not recessive no no need of a recessive uh, condition here the crossing uh, of a hybrid with the, any one of uh, the parents is known as a back cross okay crossing the hybrid okay child progeny with the any one of a parent either uh, what uh, um, dominant or recessive and what uh, uh, to achieve why why is it uh, done it is done to you know, identify or get uh, uh, the breeds closer to parents. Okay. To get uh, breeds or uh, uh, individuals closer to their parents. Okay. And in, animal, in animals also back crossing is done. Uh, and uh, in animals the back crossing is known as a top cross. Animal breeding. Uh, uh, in animal breeding a back cross is called uh, what the? Uh, top cross and it is used uh, used in uh, genetics for uh, uh, separating certain characters okay in uh, genetics it is used for uh, separating certain 
characters and a test cross is a, a type of a back cross okay test cross is a type of a back cross and we'll know about that in detail later i'll be asking you one question about this see every test cross is a back cross but every back cross is not a test cross justify okay every test cross is a back cross but every back cross is not a test cross okay justify that okay i stop here and we will meet in the next